This is Ron KC0QVT. We're at Hamvention 2024 and I am with Ralph. What's your call sign, Ralph? N0AWN, Alpha Whiskey November, or all white noise, depending on which way who you are. I want to talk to Ralph is because Ralph is a BCR 220 customer. So, Ralph, your group's into 220. Are you in a ham club? He's in the uh, Amateur Radio Society of Bakken. 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 Now, where's Bakken? Well, Bakken is the name of the fellow who founded the company Medtronic. And Medtronic is known for a number of things. They're the largest biomedical company in the world, and almost everybody on our repeater is a former Medtronic engineer, retired mostly. So where are you located? We're in the uh, in the north side of St. Paul, actually, Minnesota, and it's up at a, it's just north of a town called Ham Lake. Oddly enough, actually, it's in Ham Lake. It's on the uh, we got a retired Nextel site, so the antenna is 180 feet, give or take, high, and it's fed by two and a half. I think it's two and a half inch hard line. So the loss between the repeater and the antenna is something about 0.65 dB. Okay, so so why 220? Why did you guys go with a BCR 220? I mean, is 220 pretty active in your area or what's going on? Are you trying to get it going or what's going on? Well, two reasons. Number one, we had a repeater. It was bought in 1971 and it was getting real tired. Most of us are engineers. Well, all of us are engineers and it's like when you throw up your hands and say, this isn't fixable. We use 220 because it's not particularly active because there's not a lot of radios being made, but we're all engineers and we like to talk amongst ourselves and sometimes we talk about the old days and it confuses people, but there's about 12 of us right now and there'll be more coming every day. That's primarily, it's kind of our own private channel, but we welcome all comers. That's nice. So, so what kind of engineer are you? I'm a biomedical engineer. Okay, so... We're a company and a division called Advanced Concepts Research, and we'll kind of let that go. As it. <laughs> you know, that was 15 years ago, and there's still things coming along that I worked on way back when. Pacemakers? Yes. Yeah. Ever heard of implantable cardio defibrillators, ICDs? Well, I know what a defibrillator is, yes. but... There wasn't, there wasn't that you implant. Okay. I, I worked on that, and I worked on a, a, no, a number of other programs that are pretty famous, and we're quite happy with what the work we did, and that was a long time ago. And now I volunteer with the, the county as emergency management. I'm a, quote, technical specialist, which means anything that's got wires on it is my problem. So you say there's a 12 engineers probably in your little group there that are work, that are talking through that 220 repeater? Okay, so you have three nets a week, or just you all get... Did we all get together. It's Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Nice. I actually have uh, echo link hooked to it so I can I can talk when I'm on the road I can well that's great so how long has that 220 the BCR 220 been on the air three years continuously non-stop non-stop okay so just by way of understanding on that repeater that repeater does 30 watts output and so he's running it just right regular stock with 30 watts into the duplexer and what kind of range are you getting we did a line of sight calculation from the top of the tower and it looks like line of sight we get about 40 miles so we're from the mobiles you know we're getting 30 40 miles 30 40 and how high is your tower 180 feet. Okay, 180 feet tower, 30 watts into the duplexer, so he's probably getting close to, you know, maybe high 22 maybe out of the duplexer. Well, yeah, about that, but we've got a, a 6 dB antenna up on top, and that's commercial. Okay, so what's happening is 22 watts into out of the duplexer, up the 2 inch hard line, 180 feet, and he's got a 6 dB antenna, which probably takes his, what actually gets to the antenna and doubles it twice, so your effective radiated power would probably About be some... 80, sorry, around 80, 80 watts. 80 watts, okay, so, and then he's getting 40 mile radius out around this site, so, and then he's on 220, which is, there's nobody on it, it's probably the cleanest spectrum out there right now. We've got three long range repeaters on 220 in the Twin Cities. In, in Minneapolis and St. Paul. So, so are, you, are you are you doing RF links to those or? No. Okay. We're all different. We're all different. One of them belongs to a group called the Handy Hams. I don't know if you've ever heard of those folks. They're a group of people who man who take ham radios and modify them for people who are disabled. We had one guy who had was allergic to everything. So we actually built it into a ham radio into a acrylic box and extended controls out. They were stainless steel, and so he could run the radio and expose to it. It's a girl in the bubble type of thing. Okay. So tell us. If we're in your area, what's your channel frequency, call uh, the station ID, and how is the repeater open if it's got PL tone in and out? What's going on? So it's anybody that's in your area, tell us where we can go and get on your repeater. It's 224.82. It's 114.8 hertz tone. Call sign is Whiskey Zero Yellow Yankee Charlie, which is the call sign for the University of Minnesota. Nice. Okay, so if you're in the town of Ham Lake, Ham Lake, <laughs> check out this 220 repeater that the these folks, the Amateur Radio Society of Bakken, and Ralph yeah. is the, I think you're, are you the trustee? 
No, actually the trustee belongs to the trustee for the University of Minnesota. Okay. My co-partner is uh, Matt N0YNT, who you may have heard of. I think you maybe interviewed him once. He's uh, one of the ex he's uh, doing the one of the DMR presentation here, so. Okay, cool. Is this a repeater just analog only or do you have it on digital as no, well? Strictly analog. Strictly analog. Okay, well, if you guys are in Ralph's area, check out this 220 machine, 40 mile radius. He's covering all of Ham Lake and maybe parts unknown. Yeah, so it covers well down into uh, in the Minneapolis and St. Paul. Oh, cool. So it's got the whole Metro bathed in RF for yeah. 220. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it certainly is a pleasure meeting you, my man. Thank you, Thank right. you very much. 7-3.